So structural violence to me in my classes when I try to put it really simply. So I tell folks there is physical violence, right? So I look at school violence in schools. And so hitting um, and saying disrespectful things to each other, stabbings, um, shootings in school. So that's physical violence. And then you have a sort of violence that's called structural violence. And so part of that, if you disassemble, if you take apart those two terms, you're looking at structures. And so I try to explain to folks that it's violence that sort of happens because of structures in society. So it's sort of you're looking at the macro level. I did my research at a school where you have lots of poor students going to, and this was a school that was created in the post-colonial era. So after we got independence from Great Britain in 1962, um, you had many schools created to facilitate mass education. Um, but you find that a lot of these schools that were created in the post-colonial era, many kids who go to these schools come from poor backgrounds. And you find that they don't get as good an education um, as kids that come from, from richer backgrounds and they go to the schools that were created in the colonial era. So you have our educational system, it sort of is divided in two. Um, typically one for students who are of means, who can afford that sort of education. And, and those kids go to schools in, in the post-colonial schools that where you find teachers are not as well trained, they have um, uh, less resources. And then you find that in terms of educational outcomes, the kids don't do as well. And so to me, that is structural violence. It's linked to our historical legacy of colonialism, and it's linked to the way the contemporary, today, today, the way today's educational um, systems are set up.